All right, today's gonna to be a little bit different type of video. It's gonna be just a quick one. I'm gonna give you guys kind of a tour of my setup that I use for reloading and uh, my setup that I use for rain shooting. So um, you're gonna find it just like it is most of the time. You can tell that it's a little bit messier than what would be ideal, but this is the way that it usually looks. So this is where I do most of my reloading. The stuff over here, all those powders there are actually in primers are all empty and I need to throw them away. Keep a lot of my shell holders and things there in that um, plastic kind of box of drawers with them labeled. Random brass sitting here. This is all pretty much stuff that I'm actively working on. Um, a couple years ago, I used just a basic kind of bench you'd buy from the store. But this winter, uh, my grandpa and I ended up building this one um, out of some scrap wood and it's just really sturdy. Store most bullets and things like that underneath. Um, again, my uh, powder measure, my press, Keep it pretty well mounted there. This is a reasonably solid um, bench to use because it's made out of real wood. Going to the right here, um, I've got my Lee basic powder measure just clamped on there uh, because I've been fooling around with some stay ball. Got some random targets, fat wrenches, a bunch of random stuff and cleaning stuff sitting here in the corner. Um, you'll see I have a Vice mounted up, both a barrel vise and just a standard vise with some soft jaws. And uh, that's where I have a seven millimeter barrel right now that is soaking as it's cleaning with the cleaning rod and supply sitting there. Again, cleaning rods in the corner, some other random stuff there, and um, another set of plastic drawers. So this is pretty much the setup that I use. This is where all the videos are made. This is where everything's done except for the lay. That stuff's out in the garage. So obviously we're not gonna show you that here. What we are gonna do is we're gonna go out quickly to where I shoot and I'm gonna give you guys just a quick tour of uh, my shooting bench and uh, targets and things like that. All right, so most of you guys are familiar with my bench setup because you guys see this angle a lot, but essentially I built this bench out of just some scrap wood that I had laying around. It's quite sturdy because it's been quite reinforced and it's got a couple different tops on it. Also have it set up with a little, um, kind of foreign stop or basically a bipod stop right now because I've been shooting off bipod and then a little bit of an elevation that's bolted down for the correct bag height. I always just leave this crappy tripod up here um, pretty much set up um, so that way the lab radar is correctly aimed pretty much at all times and I just use a quick release to bring it out and on so I don't have to aim it up. Also leave my crappy tripod out here on my back porch um, because lately I've been filming a lot of these videos through my iPhone. I've toyed with different cameras kind of through the time, but that's what I've settled with now. So as you guys can tell, this is literally on my back porch of my home. So that makes it really easy to go ahead and uh, make these videos without having to really worry about a whole lot as far as hauling stuff or anything like that. So as you can see, there is my view to the 100 yard and 200 yard target. Um, it does look like that branch is encroaching right now on the left. Um, it is summer and I need to make sure that I go clean some things up so I can shoot, um, you know, all summer without any of these branches getting in the way. All right, so I have a berm that I built here at exactly 100 yards. It's actually terribly grown up right now with weeds and I keep it mowed around it. And uh, this is where I shoot all of my 100 yard groups. And um, obviously then I've got if we zoom in back there, keep another nice mode area and I have my 200 yard target back there. Again, really should be a little bit better mode right now. Like to keep it knocked down a little bit, but I've been lazy this year. So makes it easy for me to drive over here, set up my target cam. I usually set it up right nearby here so we can get some nice views of the target. All right, so we're back at the bench here. You guys got a little bit of a sneak peek of the video that's going to come out this Saturday. And uh, that's that 6GT video. We pulled that thing back out. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoy this more informal kind of tour type video. Uh, never really made anything like this, but I figured it's... Uh, some of you guys are probably a bit curious. So let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for subscribing and we'll see you next time.